Hello friends, welcome to my channel The Biology. Today we will be learn about Jordan's rule, which is an important ecological concept. This rule is an ecogeographical rule and it is related to influence of temperature on morphological variation in some fishes. The name of this rule was given after David Starr Jordan, the father of American ichthyology. Actually, the scientist did a lot of work on fish fauna of American regions. It is generalized that the relationship exists between water temperature and meristemity character in various species of fish are inverse in nature and the most commonly observed relationship is that fin rays, vertebrae or scale increase number with decreasing temperature. That means the population of this same species remain in the polar regions having increased number of vertebrae, scale or fins, while the population of the space species remain in warmer regions, they having less number of these meristematic characters. If we see here, we can easily found that the regions near to the equators receives maximum rainfall and sunlight and remain hot and humid throughout the years. If we move towards the pool, it may be northern north pool or south pool, the temperature gradually decreases. The regions starting from the equator to north pool is known as north latitudes while the regions from equator to south pool is known as south latitudes. If we see the world's geographical relief, we can observe that the relims which is situated near to the equator zones receives maximum sunlight and rainfall throughout the year and remain around the year warmer and humid. The relims like Ethiopian, Oriental, Australian and New Tropicals, these four are situated near to, near to the equators and remain throughout the year warm and humid. On the other hand, the two other relims like Palearctic relims and Nearctic relims are present far from the equators and towards the polar regions and remain throughout the year to pool. And if we compare the population of the same species present in these four regions near to the equator with the population of Palearctic and Nearctic zones, we can observe that the animals of Palearctic relims and Nearctic relims having maximum number of vertebrae, scales or fin rays and also other meristematic characters in comparison to warmer 
regions renamed like Ethiopian, Oriental, Australian, and Northern Relief, Neotrophic Reliefs. Most of the Asian countries, including India, presents in the Oriental Reliefs. If we see in these graphs, we can observe that the mean number of vertebrae are very slow near to the equators, which is actually the warmer regions. And on the other hand, if we see the mean number of vertebrae toward the poles or increasing the latitudinal degree which is present towards the poles, the number of vertebrae are increased. That means the regions which having warmers have less number of vertebrae, while the regions remain cold or near to the poles having large number of vertebrae. We can say that the temperatures are inversely related to the meristematic characters of some fishes. Meristematic character like fin rays, scales, vertebrae and so many other characters. This is all about Jordan rules and why this rule is called ecogeographical rules. If you have any query related to these concepts, let me know in the comment section. I will definitely reply to your query. Thank you.